Oh man. One year of having AirPods is insane. Um, today it's June 27th, 2021. Exactly one year ago, I bought these suckers. Um, yeah. They're in the box right now. We're doing a re unboxing and reset up it, it, with my iPhone. It's gonna be pretty fun. What's up, guys? James DTV here. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video up right now, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload, and I will. Um, yeah, um, uh, that way you know when I upload. Sorry, I'm just losing my train of thought. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So it all started in 2017, I think. I saw the first ad for these. I was mesmerized by the way they got it to wear two separate Bluetooth headphones that go together that you pair to your phone with a simple pop-up on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch running iOS 10 or later. Um, those were the first gen anyway for iOS 10. Um, and they had in-ear detection, you could just tap on the side to control it, and the, the microphone sound really good. I actually own the second gen with the first gen case. Um, yeah, I didn't have the, I didn't want to pay like 200 for the wireless charging when I didn't have a pad. And also, I was living at the old foster home, so I didn't even have um, the ability to get some stuff online that I wanted. So I also didn't even have a phone. Well, when I did, I wasn't supposed to. But yeah. Um, I had a case just like this. I have this. This is a new one now. Yeah. Um, these are actually my original AirPods. Uh, well, I only had one when I got it, and uh, the case didn't come with it. And my battery is at 15% on my LG. This is the third time I'm making this video. Yeah. Let's just get to the unboxing. All right. Um, yeah, the design by Apple in California. I have the manual, the um, safety and handling and stuff. Yeah, these are second gen, so they're compatible with iOS 12 point something and later. If you pair it to 10 or 11, it'll actually still pop up. It asks you for a software update. I actually used to use these on my iPhone 5. I, the only thing Double Tap can do is Siri if you're on iOS 10 or 11. Uh, unless you're on 11 and you got the, um, the jailbreak tweak called um, Airport. Literally gives you the ability to use second gen AirPods. Oh, shoot. Second gen AirPods on iOS 11. And you can also use AirPods Pro on iOS 12. It's pretty cool. They don't have an iOS 10 version for it. I was kind of sad because I want to use my second gen on my iPhone 5 normally. Yeah, and I even have the cable, which is mainly to charge my iPhone. Yeah, now um, let's unlock my iPhone 7 on iOS 15 and pair these suckers. So we will get the not your AirPods. It shows up with the first gen case and say connect. So you see, it's talking about the bo the bottom button. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that yet because I want to show you guys something. So I have this aftermarket charging case. I don't know if you guys have seen the videos where I said it literally shows the um it literally shows the wireless charging case when I use this one instead of the first gen case. So now watch. We're gonna open it again. Camera sucks on my LG, so if it, you can't really see it, uh, that's my bad. But you see, it shows the second gen case. I don't know. Wait. What the dingus? That's weird. It now shows up the first gen case. What? Okay, now it shows up the second gen case. All right, there. You guys can see it. Now connect. Now, the, the company in the manual, it says not to do it this way. If it says not your AirPods, to not do it this way. But we're doing it this way. It'll work. It just it's very slow. Because it's an aftermarket case. Boom. It works. Not now. Customize. Not now. The James DTV's AirPods. Literally. It's 109 degrees right now in Wenatchee. It's freaking hot. It's gonna be hot all week. I have an I have a portable AC and I have some uh nice cup of Shasta Cola with ice. Refreshing. If you guys remember Nino from the vlog where I stayed in the guest room. She stayed the night with me last night because she lives upstairs and it gets hot up there. We're, we, I live in a 120, I mean a 101 year old house from 1920. It gets hot. But yeah, and then I also have a, another door in my room that's open, it's pretty cool. But yeah. Um, so, basically my history with AirPods goes way back to 2017. I said I was gonna get them, I got them in 2020. Second gen, too. Not even the first. Yeah, and then um, my first pair of something even remotely similar to AirPods were the i12 TWS. I don't have them anymore. I just have the box. I'm actually trying to find a pair on AliExpress so I can review them. I can actually do a unboxing and review of them for you guys on YouTube. Yeah, um, 
comparing them to the original AirPods. Um, I printed this label out to do that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, um, after the i12s broke, I got these. I didn't actually use them for a while. I got I had the i14s, which were a little better. They had a lightning connector also. Yeah, no, the design of the i12s. Just like the, the AirPods 1 and the 2 with the wire charging case, the inside it had a green LED. It always flat, it flashed like either four times, or if it was plugged in and it was fully charged, it would be just solid green. And um, yeah, the headphones themselves looked like AirPods 1 and 2. They came out when the 1s were out. They came out before the 2s did. It, it, the, the bottom was filled in where the microphone is. It did have contact points, but the, the ones on the inside of the case didn't look like apples. They were too, like, spike looking things sticking out in the bottom yeah no um so oh hey you can kind of see the sensor light in there it's not a reflection it's actually the light from the sensor let's focus in on that turn down the exposure okay i'm probably just gonna stop yeah i can adjust the exposure which i didn't even know i could do so it makes the video look a little better yeah um Shoot, it, it's focusing more on my keyboard than my AirPod. I really don't want it to do that. I'm gonna turn back on autofocus and we're just gonna turn down the exposure if I can. Um, there, yeah. The stems were a little shorter, like maybe to about where the tip of my finger is, like the top part of it is, uh, maybe a little lower. And the stems were slightly wider, and I almost got it stuck in my friend's AirPods case, and he got mad because he thought I actually got it uh, like completely stuck in there. He was gonna have to get a new one. I got it out. He was just like, "All is forgiven." And these ones, for the, my original ones, for some reason, sound better than my current ones. I think it's because these ones um, I didn't really use. After I got my first gen, I kind of forgot about these ones, and I lost the first gen, and I got these ones taken away. So I never saw them until April of this year, because I've already moved. I was at the old foster home when that happened. Yeah, and then um, I got these June 27th. My exp my coverage expired yesterday, but for some reason, the settings it still says expires June 26, 2021. It's like, that was yesterday, and it's the 27th, and they still hasn't said that. I had hardware support coverage. I actually had an issue where they wouldn't want to pair to my iPhone. That was when I was on a 5. That was pretty funny, though. I ended up actually hard resetting them, left them for a whole day, and I was actually using these. I was using these, and um, yeah, literally was like the worst experience of my life. I hated these. Well, actually, I didn't hate them. They weren't that bad, but yeah. Also, if you use AirPods second gen on an iPhone 5 running iOS 10, you'll get the pop-up, but only once, and it'll only give you like one battery percentage, and I think that's for one of these headphones. And it says audio accessory, but you can still rename them in settings. It's just that double tap, you cannot change that. Even if you change it on a newer iPhone, it still only works for Siri. And you can't get Hey Siri unless you're jailbroken. I don't even have Hey Siri enabled on the, my iPhone 7. That one actually supports it without it being plugged in. My 6, I had to get a jailbreak tweak, I think. Well, no, unless I had my AirPods in, then I could do it that way. Advantages of AirPods. Then the five, I actually had to jail get it when it was jailbroken. I had to put a tweak on there for it to do that. Yeah, I literally can't believe it. Well, I am actually when the AirPods third generation come out, like the AirPods three, I am going to buy those to replace these. Yeah, that or and Pat Squawk and me. Yeah, no, um, if if the AirPods Pro two come out, I may just buy the AirPods Pro first generation. Yeah, that or I'll get a used pair of AirPods Pro on eBay. Uh, make sure I clean them up. If it comes with the original box, I will do the unboxing. I'll buy the clones to compare them. I'll actually, I have an iPhone that they work with without having a jailbreak to get a tweak installed on it because this one is running um, on and Touch ID is being, being crap right now. Um, hold on, let's go into general. About, oh, no, not software update, dang it. 15.0. That's the software version I'm on. I actually don't have AT&T, it's literally just a prepaid SIM card that hasn't been activated. I have 15 beta 2, so the maps icon changed. I did notice uh, the weather icon looks different. Hold on, let me pull out my Motorola, which has an iPhone launcher on it. And they have they only updated the music and the um, calendar icon so far. Yeah, um, if you look at the weather icons, the, the sun has moved. The sun has moved. They moved it to the other side. 
I actually have a screenshot off of my iPhone 6, which let me pull that up. I will pause the video so I can do that. Oh, and I just have to say something. I have 1,001 photos on here, which is crazy. Um, yeah, let me find the screenshot. This is a screenshot off of my iPhone 6. Uh, this literally, now I feel like I'm holding my 6 looking at this home screen. Yeah, it's on iOS 12. You can tell because the old Apple Music icon, um, the old Reminders icon. Let me actually go to my home screen real quick to show you guys the new one. That's the 13 and later. That's the 14 and later music icon. Calendar icon is slightly different on the top. Yeah, this is on iOS 12. Um, this one was taken March 31st. Um, so you see, that's the weather icon on iOS 12. That's the weather icon on 15, beta 2. And of course, I have the developer beta because, you know, I am a big fan of betas. I never actually got to use them except for the, I, I've never used an iOS beta, except for the iOS launcher betas. That was it. Oh, and um, I found a memory. Um, December 7th, 2020 was when I updated my iPhone 6 from 11.4 when I received it. That's what it was running to 12.4.9. And I have some screenshots somewhere of 12.5.1, uh, which almost completely screwed my phone up with the status bar because it kept on seeing searching. Even without a SIM card in there, it said that it was a bug. I got 12.5.2, fixed that, but my battery drain was really bad because the battery is poor. Yeah, um, shoot. Oh, here is a parts phone on eBay I was going to buy for my 5. It's non-working good screen. Um... I am trying to find, where is that home screen screenshot? I had it on here, I swear. It was when it was jailbroken. Hold on, oh, and I don't know why I'm showing you guys update screens, but here's one of 12.5.2. Yeah, that, that's the searching issue I had. I had my Verizon SIM in there. So I'm going to go get my iPad, and I will find that screenshot to show you guys. Because literally, I don't know why it's not on my phone. It should have been on my phone. I don't know why it's not, because I have the same iCloud account on my iPad, which is actually out of storage, I think, so I am uh, kind of screwed there. My iPad's also at 19%, um, so i got to hurry. Okay, found it. Um, so here it is, iOS 12 with the jailbreak. Um, yeah, this is the 6. You can tell because the music icon... Oh, shoot. knocked over my microphone again. Um, music icon is different, although it looks like it could have been beta 2. If you guys start debating that, but the reminders icon's different. Um, yeah, so here's 15. There is 12 with the jailbreak. That's actually a Today widget um, from the Today view. I literally just used that widget as a calendar widget because I couldn't get the weather one to work properly. I am going to be doing that jailbreak video again. Oh, I, I never did a video on that jailbreak, so I will do one on there. I know this was supposed to be about my AirPods and the history of them. A little bit of extras looking back. This is kind of a, since we're like remembering the good old days of something, I kind of wanted to remember the good old days of my six and my five. These two. Ah. Yeah, basically my seven, uh, the, 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 the screen is literally no upgrade for my six. They're both the same 4.7 inch displays. It's just that my seven has 3D touch. I could get I could get fake haptic touch with this one. Literally, uh, 3D touch no longer is 3D touch. It's just haptic touch now. They got rid of it on the 3D touch devices, which I'm kind of mad about. But you can actually oh shoot no I don't want that. You can open your app switcher if you do a 3D touch on the corner. So some 3D touch functionality is still there. This phone does not have an OS on it, so um, literally does not have an OS. Uh, yeah, the screen's demolished as crap, but um. We get an Apple logo, and it's just like an iPod that you put a new hard drive in. It's like, please restore your iPod. But it's an iPhone. I tried restoring with iTunes, and it failed. Error 9. Comment down below if you guys know what the fix is for Error 9, because I don't know. Yeah, um, this was my 6. This was literally the phone I used. It may be the battery, though. The battery was significantly degraded. It's a 7-year-old phone. Uh, this, this one's like 5 years old, I think. Because it's two year, yeah, yeah, five year old phone. Runs the latest software, and then uh, the one that came before it, the 6S, got 15. And hold on. All right, yeah, so literally the 6S got iOS 15. Everyone thought it was going to get dropped, so at least iPhones with the, the newest iPhone with the headphone jack, which is the SE 2016, still get support. And then, um, yeah, and then the 6S also got it. So we thought that the 7 was going to be the oldest to get 15, but we're wrong. Maybe 16 will drop support for the 6S, because the 6S is being supported for 6 years. This phone's 7 years old, 
and it got dropped in 2019. But funny, funny thing is, I was installing 12.5.3, and that's what bricked this thing because I barely got it to turn on. Um, let me pull out my Motorola to actually find that photo. I actually have the photo of that. Um, the day I got it to turn on, the last time it ever turned on without like, and I don't mean by the flipping uh, iTunes screen, I mean actual like turning on and working. Where's Snapchat folder? Okay, Snapchat folder. Um, um, here it is. This was the six. Uh, this one was taken. It was taken on, I think, like May 5th or something. But yeah, that was the six. Had an iOS 11 wallpaper on it. Yeah. Um, that was the last day I got it to turn on. I was already using the, this phone as my daily driver. The six was like literally just on life support, which um, was kind of sad. I loved that phone. I have a seven, so it's I, I like the seven more. Except the only thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't have one of these. Headphone jack. I have AirPods and I have Lightning EarPods, but I have a microphone with a 3.5 millimeter connector. Although someone is gonna give me like, um, someone I know is gonna give me the little dongle that you used to get with the iPhone when you got the seven up until the 10s came out, then they got rid of that. And also the six has a physical home button. It clicks. My seven, on the other hand, just has a capacitive button. I don't know if you guys can hear the vibration, but it actually vibrates to make it feel like a press. It's just a 3D touch pad, basically. It's like 3D touch. Yeah, I got this Dollar Tree case. I am going to actually try to buy a phone Rebel case. I can only get the the Frosted series now. I was gonna get a. I was planning on getting a Rebel Gen 1 or a Crystal Gen 1 because Gen 2 is only for the 12 series of iPhones. So I'm actually gonna have to get a Frosted, which has a clear back, but it's got like the matte finish, like the 11. Pro, 11 Pro Max, and then the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. It's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, this one was modified to fit my 6 because I actually switched cases between the two phones, the 7 and 6. Although I am going to try to find a black OtterBox symmetry case for the, the 7 because I have that. I have one for my 5. I don't know where it is, but I have one for the 5. Yeah, I, this video was supposed to be about my AirPods and I just went off on something else, but anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.